Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Today is a sad day. It's the last day in the Mercedes Actros. Last day in the Merc. I've loved it. <laughs> it's been such a great truck. Um, we are here at Oxford, uh, Travis Perkins in Oxford, Sandy Lane. And um, yeah, we got here at half past, no, just before half past, it's 20 past six we got here. It's 10 to 7 now, so we've been here half an hour, um, and they're finally letting us in. That's good. That's good. It was dark when we started work this morning, and um, now it's light out. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're going to get this offloaded. We then got to go into Mortimer and uh, do two runs out of Mortimer, and then come back to the yard, wash the truck, take the truck back to, uh, to Mercedes. 
there's a chance, a small chance, well actually quite a large chance, that actually it's going to go back tomorrow. But this is my last day working in it, so. Sad times, sad times. Right, let's get inside the yard then. Morning, how you doing mate? See you in a bit. Right, we are just leaving now. Um, we haven't actually been here that long. Just say bye to him. Yeah, no, we haven't actually been here that long. Um, well, we have. We've been here long, but we haven't actually been in there long getting offloaded. Uh, they they uh, started us at uh, 10 to 7. Yeah, yeah, 10 to 7. And it's now quarter past 7. That is rapid, mate. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, uh, 25 minutes. In and out. Lovely jubbly. Right, so we are now heading back to Mortimer. Uh, I don't actually know what we're doing out of Mortimer for the first one, and I would assume the second one is another Newbury. I would assume. Yeah, we can make that. Lovely. Yeah, so uh, yesterday was uh, was interesting. I got back to the yard uh, after my shift and uh, I started putting stuff from this truck back into my old truck. Um, primarily my bedding, for example. I bought my bedding with me just in case I had to do a night out. Um, obviously it was Thursday yesterday, so Friday today, so I won't be doing a night out because I don't work weekends. So I put my bedding in my MAN uh, yesterday when I got back to the yard and um, it's weird because I'm already I'm already messing up because getting into my MAN was difficult. <laughs> There's four steps on the on the Mercedes and then a fifth one into the truck. Um, and on an MAN there's three steps and then the fourth one into the truck. And um, yeah, I was I basically couldn't remember where the steps was basically. And uh, I I didn't I didn't hurt myself, but yeah, if you're not careful, you can uh, trip over the steps and fall out <laughs> but yeah as soon, as soon as I open the door and start climbing up because I, I can pretty much run up these steps now because you get used to them it's like memory and then you eventually like run up and um, yeah it, just, it was just weird getting to the MEN yesterday, yesterday briefly just to put my bedding back into my truck never mind I've got to take this quite wide as the trailer gets the curb it's all good uh, also, Jabba took this out for a little spin yesterday. Um, and I know his brother and uh, and him watch these vlogs. And uh, I got the impression, Jabba, that you quite liked it. You said uh, that mirror was all right, the passenger mirror, but the driver mirror takes getting used to. I say mirror, it's not an actual mirror, it's a mirror cam. But you know what I mean. It is going to be weird, though, getting back into my MAN and having to look at my actual mirror. Because that's the other thing, right? Because the, the Mercedes truck is, A, there's less blind spots overall because you haven't got a big old mirror on the outside of the truck blocking your view. I mean, it is slightly wider than the A-pillar, I, I agree, granted. But overall, there's less blind spots in the Mercedes. It's more aer aerodynamic because you haven't got that outside. Um, you get wider angle viewing, so you can see the end of your trailer no matter what position you're in. You can blindside around the corner and still, still see your trailer. I just think overall, Mercedes, this this truck for Mercedes is more safe. It's just safer and more economic. So why wouldn't it catch on? I think I think trucks in the future are going to have cameras on the outside as mirrors and then screen on the inside, 100%. And um, I've got my beacons on still. You could implement more, because like there are two mirrors on this truck. You've got the one on the front and you've got the one on the side as well. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could implement them with screens as well, I reckon, quite easily. But one step at a time, eh? One step at a time. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on to Mortimer. No idea where I'm going. If I had to pick a place I want to go to, I'd say Build Base Farnham. They're quite rapid there. That'd be nice. Let's go. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind.
Right, we've just got our paperwork for where we're going. We are going to Finch and Hampstead. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Finch and Hampstead, fin, fin, Finch and Hampstead, something like that. Been there before, many times. However, um, can't remember who, but someone told me that the main road in is closed. And that the way they, the way they eventually got in was like a proper tight way, apparently. So, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that if that is the case. Fingers crossed we'll be okay. But uh, yeah, I just had a look on Google Maps. It didn't say the road I need to take was closed. But uh, just because it doesn't say it's closed, doesn't mean that it won't be closed. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see, wait until we get there. We're about 40 minutes away, so it's not too bad, but then we have been here quite long. Um, they put like two pallets on. I realized it was the wrong stuff, so they had to make two new pallets. So I was waiting for those pallets to be made. So I was here longer than I really wanted to be. So never mind. Anyway, ETA to Finch and Amstead is quarter past 10. Fingers crossed we could get out of there by quarter past 11 and uh, hopefully back here by 12. That's uh, what I would like, whether that happens or not. Entirely up for uh, discussion. <laughs> but yeah, so let's crack on and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so we are a couple of miles away and um, if there are gonna be any road closures, it's gonna be along one of these next roads coming up. I did just see a sign saying um, major road works happening, delays possible. But that doesn't mean there's a road closure. That just means they're doing road works. So we'll uh, have to wait and see, but so far it's looking okay. Definitely been around this roundabout before. This roundabout is familiar. Uh huh. Right, two more miles to go. The the road does get quite thin, like on the last sort of half a mile towards the place. It's quite a tight place. Um, you'd struggle to get two lorries past, put it that way. So I'm hoping I don't meet any uh, arctics on the way out, especially when I'm in this truck. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, this this particular place is Travis Perkins, Finch and Hampstead, fin Finch, Finch Hampstead, something like that. I, I always get told off for mispronunciation. <laughs> I do apologize. But yeah, no, we, uh, we go in. It's one of the few places that you go straight in um, because there just is no room outside for you where the entrance is, is where it's too narrow for trucks to pass. So if I just stay outside... <coughs> excuse me. If I just stay outside, I'm going to be blocking people. I'm trying to use this engine brake a lot more than normal. I haven't touched the brake in ages. <laughs> right, I want to go left here. No one's indicating okay, that red car is. So this turn coming up, about to do a right hand turn, it used to be quite tight. But there's a roundabout now, so. It used to be um, an actual right turn and they had like a, a chicane. Just brush the, uh, just gonna say mirror then. It's not the mirror. Oh, here we go. Throw the head closed at the junction with the gorse ride itself. Uh, see, I might have trouble here. Oh, I get a funny feeling I'm going to have to turn around. That's the first road closure sign I've seen. Uh, we are literally a mile away.
I did not want to see that road sign. These vehicles just came from straight on, which is where I want to go. Road ahead closed. Nine mile right. What's nine mile right? I only want to go a mile away. It's literally just around the corner. I'm going to have trouble here. Said, I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying it was closed. I'm gonna have to go a long way around. I've got a funny feeling around this corner is gonna be road closed. Looks like the road closure there. It does say diverted traffic this way though. Is that just a bin lorry? Please just be a bin lorry. It is just a bin lorry, but it's on the corner that I can't pass with him there. And he's waving me down, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is Travis Perkins just here. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that bush sticking out. When I, um, when I used to work for Tarmac, I used to relish road closure signs because that is where I needed to be. <laughs> And I was also only driving an eight-wheeler, which, like, don't get me wrong, you go to tight places, but you can turn one of them around a lot easier than one of these. And now I'm in an Arctic, and I, like, deliver to places. If I see road closure signs, I just panic. I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to turn around. <sighs> anyway, we're here. That's good. We can go back out the same way as well. Good, good, good. Right, these are the uh, Travis Perkins gates, so, as you well know, not allowed to film inside, so uh, I will see you when I'm coming back out. Okay. We are just leaving now. We've been here slightly longer than I wanted to, really. Um, yeah, I don't know, it just feels a lot longer than it actually is. I've been here for an, an hour and 15 minutes. But it feels like I've been here a lot longer. <laughs> dragged. Yeah, definitely dragged. It's all clear coming out of there. Right, you've got to watch this bush coming out of here because there's a a low hanging um, bush in it on the, on the left hand side so we'll need to go onto the right hand side of the road and miss it because I don't want to scratch this truck clear left, clear right there we go, so I will be getting on this side of the road to miss it let the car behind me know there's a hazard because at speed that could smash something, or at least put a crack in something. So, got to be careful. Got to be slow going around this corner as well, because as that car just done, it just completely cut it. So we will go slow around here, nice and slow. There we go. Got to come to a stop. This is where our car stops on the corner, thinking they're letting me out. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, thank you. Yeah, that's the sort of situation where a car would stop on the bend thinking they're helping me out and they're not. It does happen a lot. Anyway, yeah, we're going back to Mortimer now. I've got to get reloaded to go to Build Base in Newbury. 
which is the uh, the blind side. So I did a blind side in I don't think it was the last um, vlog. It was on the vlog before that, and um, it was okay. <laughs> I didn't get it spot on. I need to I need to like try again to get it spot on. It's a bit tight for trucks down here. It's even tighter back where we were. No, that's all right. So yeah, um, it'd be good to give it another go. One last go, because it will be my last delivery in this truck as well, my next one. So um, one last blind side reverse out. See if we can get it right, because last time I turned a little bit too soon and um, we, well, we ended up pretty much in the junction, but then I couldn't go out all the way into the road anyway, because there was a car there. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier on in that vlog that sometimes cars don't, they don't stop the cars further enough, or far enough away rather. So. We'll see, we'll see, we will see. I wonder if it detects this roundabout. I'm gonna put um, adaptive cruise control on. Yeah, it has detected it. So the truck is stopping, or slowing down all by itself. It's gonna take it at about six miles per hour. There's nothing on the right. There we go. We're actually going 10 or 11, hovering between the two. And now it's accelerating all by itself. Didn't do anything there. Still not doing anything. <laughs> I love this truck. I love this truck. I'm trying to get as many miles per gallon as, as I can out of it. At the moment, I'm on 8.1, which is good because I've just done a delivery loaded and now I've got to go back empty. So that 8.1 is going to go up to a, at the very least 8.5. I'm hoping to get it to nine. Then I'll make another delivery. To Newbury, and then I got to drive all the way back to Swindon from Newbury empty. So I'm hoping that I get it to nine miles per gallon by the end of the day. That's what I hope. We'll have to see. Engine brake. What I do like about this truck more than my truck, in in terms of engine brake, is that it's three levels. In my MAN, it's just on or off. Whereas on this, there's there's three levels. You can have obviously level one, level two, level three, and the further down you pull it, the stronger the, the stop is. So I do I do like that. Gives you more of an incentive to use it because like I'm on level one right now, just to slow down like a little bit slower. Whereas in, in the MAN, if you press that, you'll be coming to a complete stop. No one's indicating. Thank you. I hate it when people don't indicate. They were all going left and if they were indicating, I could have gone straight out. Never mind, stop moaning, Luke. <laughs> get a reputation again. Right, let's crack on back to Mortimer. Let's get reloaded and let's go to Newbury. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report. We are currently stationary outside of Bill Base. Uh, been here now for 30 minutes. <laughs> I forgot to vlog on the way in. <laughs> um, I was listening to music and got carried away singing. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're here now at Bill Base. I think we're about to be called in. I might actually be about to, to be asked to move my truck just so then so I can get their car out. Well, but yeah, the, the lorry coming out now. Um, I should be able to go in when he comes out. So fingers crossed, won't be too much longer and we'll be going in. And uh, yeah, I've got to go back to South Sydney after this and get reloaded for a didcot on Monday morning. Still don't know if I'm actually taking this truck back today or not, or whether it's tomorrow. I know I need to wash it before I take it back. Is he gonna tell me to go forward or? Did you want me to go in? Want some mirrors. Yeah, oh yeah, mind the mirrors. You helped me a lot with that video, how to do the HTV. Yeah? Thanks for that. That's all right. It like five times, so you really helped me. Oh, step by step, yeah? thank you, mate. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, <laughs> he's just so happens he's watched my videos. <laughs> um, right, anyway, so I think they're going to call me in in a second, so I'm going to go. And I will see you when we leave. Okay, we are making our way out now. And uh, I'm having the same problem before as before. Well, I don't feel like I'm straight. I know, I know, like you're supposed to keep the steering wheel straight, and obviously, but uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm always correcting myself. Oh, 
us well early. There's a big old vehicle there, right on the bend. I do not want to hit. Jesus Christ, I've got to go right in the middle. There's uh, two vehicles, one on the left and one on the right, and I've got to get in between the two of them. Sorry for not talking, but this is actually uh, not the easiest thing to do right now. You'll see in a second what I've just had to do. I'm going to do a, a good side reverse, primarily because I haven't got the angle to do the blind side reverse because of this vehicle here. So I'm going to have to go this way. I do. Cheers, bud. Oh, Cheers, mate. Yeah, so that was harder than it needed to be because of all the traffic. And the thing is, right, all of that's on uh, yellow hatch markings. So they shouldn't be there, but they are. Never mind. We're out. I couldn't do the blind side, like I said, because I couldn't... Once, I, once you do that sort of right-hand turn, you then got to line yourself up to do the left-hand turn, and I couldn't line myself up because of all the traffic that was there. And also, did you notice the van that was following me out was really close to me as well? He was, uh, wasn't far too far off. Me uh, telling him to back off. But never mind, we're out. And we're heading back to South Sydney. I'm just going to get the uh, aircon on because I am a little bit warm. A little bit toasty. <laughs> right, anyway, let's, um, let's crack, on, crack on to South Sydney. ETA there is... I'd like to be there by four. Ten to four. Yeah, ten to four. So, all in all, actually, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Right, see you in a bit. And that's it, we're done. Done for the day. And uh, because it's Friday, I'm just packing everything away now in the, in the Merc. 
because it's no longer needed. I'm going to make sure everything is tidy. Oh, God. This camera's been recording for five minutes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's turn that one off. Yeah, I've got to get all my stuff ready. Just turn the ignition on. That way I can still see what they're doing. Yeah, get everything ready, put everything away. You know how it is. I'm uh, really not looking forward to getting back into my MAN. <laughs> not gonna lie. That's gonna feel horrible getting back in my truck. Oh, it's hard to get off. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, carry on and get all this packed away. I miss this truck, man. Genuinely, genuinely love it. Genuinely love this truck. Gonna miss it. 112 grand. I don't think I'm ever gonna drive a Mercedes Actros mirrorless truck again for quite a while. Unless you know someone who's got a job going who uh, has one of them for, uh, to, to be able to drive. If they're looking for a driver, let me know. <laughs> uh. I love it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, in fact, by the time this video comes out, I will already be in my MAN, so... Sad days. Sad days. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with a little time lapse of me just packing everything away. Thank you very much for watching this video. Really, really appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. See you later. Bye-bye. We're lying there on the bed above the sheets. No one's saying a word, but I can feel your heartbeat. I stare into your eyes, and you into mine. Lying perfectly still, like we are frozen in time. I don't want this to be over. Don't want the morning to come. My head upon your shoulder